Like so many other people in the world, I need my caffeine fix in the morning and that usually means a little bit of French press action or something out of my Nespresso machine. I can't quite remember when I started drinking coffee, I think it might have been med school, but clearly now I'm dependent on it and I need to be well caffeinated to take on the day. Okay, this is my office. Welcome, this is where all the magic happens. It's where I come first thing in the morning to drop my stuff off. Uh, it's where I look up all the information I need to know in the electronic health record before I go see the patient either in clinic or for their procedure. Likewise, it's where I come back to after every clinic visit or after the procedure to do all of my documentation. It's not where I meet the patient because I, we have separate clinic space for that um, with all the equipment and the exam table, etc. there. Uh, but I do meet students, residents, and fellows in this office to talk about research projects and things like that. It's also where I house all the proof of what it took to get here in terms of diplomas from college, med school, residency, fellowship, and all of my board certifications. And like I said, I spend a lot of time in this office because I spend a lot of time on the electronic health records. Um, I'm not going to show you that for obvious reasons for patient privacy, but it's where we put in all of our orders for lab testing, imaging testing, for medications that are to be given while the patients are in the hospital. It's also where I can prescribe medications that the patients can pick up at their local pharmacy. It's also where I follow up on pathology results and communicate with other doctors and our staff to talk about what the next steps are in our treatment plan. And some of my patients also reach out to me on the electronic record with questions as well. Not every gastroenterologist has the same type of schedule. I am an advanced endoscopist, so my schedule is very procedurally heavy. I do three days a week of procedures. Two of those are outpatient days for patients um, who are coming from home. And one of those days, I am in charge of doing the procedures for the patients in the hospital, the DM patients. Before every procedure, I have to explain the risks and the benefits of doing the procedure to my patient before they can consent to me doing the procedure for them. Of course, my anesthesia colleagues and my nursing colleagues have to do their pre-procedure evaluation before the patient can even be rolled back into the room. Now, before we even go back into the room, we also have to gather all of our supplies and I tell my staff what needles and scopes that we need and we position all of the furniture like the equipment um, and the fluoroscopy machine in a way that's ergonomic um, before we bring the patient in. And once the patient is in the room, we can position the patient on the table. We do a quick timeout to verify that we have the right patient and that we're doing the right procedure. And after the procedure is done, I go to the computer and I document my findings so the patient can leave with a report in their hands. So on my clinic days, usually the medical assistant rooms the patient before I go see them. Of course, I review their medical records before going to see the patient. And once I'm in the room, that's our time to go over everything that's happened since the last time I saw them, or if they're a new patient, going over what exactly the nature of their concerns are. Of course, I like to use visual aids. And some of my patients have very complex anatomy, so I like to draw everything out so they know exactly what's going on as well. And by the end of the visit, we can come up with a good treatment plan so that we know what's gonna happen next, whether it's a procedure or if it's additional testing. So usually I'm done about 6 or 7 p.m. On some days, it could be earlier than that. 
On other days it could run much longer if my last case is very complicated. It can go until 9, 10, beyond that. Now when I'm on call it varies by institution but here I take a week at a time. Every several weeks I'm on call for emergency procedures the entire week and so sometimes if uh, we know that there's going to be an emergency case I'll stay here and we can take care of that emergency case. Other times I go home and then I get called with emergency cases in the middle of the night in which case I have to come back to the hospital um, and that can be any time of night. Now what I didn't mention earlier is that every several weeks I am the attending on service which means that I am the head doctor in charge of the team rounding on the patients who are hospitalized. Now at our hospital we're very lucky to have our own pancreatic or biliary service which means a service dedicated to patients with pancreatic or biliary diseases. Um, that way the staff can really be focused and um, are very used to taking care of patients with similar conditions um, so they're experts in this area. Early in the morning I'm here with the entire team seeing all those patients um, before I start my day doing procedures or seeing patients in clinic. So that responsibility comes every several weeks as well. We take turns doing that. It varies by institution once again so not every hospital works this way. So now that I'm back home, this is when the real work starts. And I'm not talking about doing the laundry or paying my bills or doing the dishes. This is when I start jumping on all those conference calls for the committees that I belong to um, in regards to the medical societies I'm a part of. This is when I do some research, when I edit papers, when I respond to emails, uh, when I get a chance to read up on all the GI conditions that I help treat because you gotta stay up to date on everything and um, do things like this, YouTube. I also have to take some time for myself and watch Netflix and watch YouTube just like you guys because self-care is super important. And after that, that's pretty much it. I go to bed because the next morning is always an early start and I do it all over again and gotta be prepared for that. And the only thing that's guaranteed in all of this is that tomorrow is bound to be a super busy, super hectic day. In any case, that's it for my day in the life of a gastroenterologist video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about my schedule and my routine, leave it in the comment section below. And if you wanna see more from me, hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. Until next time, please stay healthy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.